I was gonna say, somebody sent me 50 bucks. I missed something in the chat. Did I lose? Did somebody lose a bet? Are you saying, wait, no, I'm just fucking to people. I'm knitting so tired this of game is super fun. Like I said, if you saw the last Indie File cases or the one before... No, actually, the one before that. This was part of it. And this is one I've been itching to play more of. The last time I played a Lovecraft game tabletop thing was a table simulator. That was like five years ago. <laughs> and I lost. Because I didn't know how to play. All right, so we get to choose a character. Your investigator, welcome to Arkham Horror's Mother's Embrace. Who will be your investigator for this adventure? So you have a choice between Harvey Walters, with doctorates in both history and archeology, span as well as expertise in ancient languages. Harvey Walters is one of my most friendly and helpful colleagues at Miskatonic University. He has certainly been of use in answering my questions about pagan cultures, understandings, cultures, understandings of astronomy. His own studies remain a mystery as he refuses to discuss them even with his colleagues. One can't help but wonder whether the Sto Sto Stoji professor is harboring some scandalous secret. Move aside, boys. It's oh my, my turn. Jenny, as she prefers to be called, is the elder daughter of my friend. The Bernies, despite her natural intelligence and all advantages her upbringing provided, she never seems to focus on a single pursuit. She prefers to dabble in literature, history, archaeology, and virtually any other subject that crosses her path. Never gain expertise in any one. She certainly does not lack for passion or courage. That's my cue to play. The musician Jim Culliver. Jim Culliver plays his trumpet at Velmer's Diner. He inherited the instrument from his father, who played in nightclubs. I visited in my I visited in my younger days. From what I've heard, Jim's father passed along not only the trumpet, but also its talent. Of course, people exaggerated, but the gossip is that Jim's playing made the widow Jenkins leap out of her coffin and dance at her own funeral. Nonsense, of course, but that is the sort of story that makes the more superstitious residents of Arkham avoid Velma's diner when he's playing. So again, Move as you aside, can see, boys. It's each my one no actually like has a, a uh, Move aside, thing boys. That That's my I'm ready to investigate. Let's see. Kate Winthrop. Even unlike most of the university staff, Kate Winthrop remains a, virtues, a virtual stranger to me. Even before the death of her mentor, Professor Young, she seemed only shy since the tragedy. What the fuck was that sound? That was me turning off my lamp. Okay, so I'm not going to read prepared. all of these, but you guys do get to choose. And I would look at the investigative skills it's very my carefully. Time in the... I heed the Lord's call. It's very it's important. It's my time in the spot. I'm prepared. So you Bit guys wall. get to choose. Bit wall. Bit wall. Nah, Stop nah, doing nah. that. They're going to get oh. mad. That, okay, we only do that for when we're choosing costumes and colors. Yeah. Not characters. So you guys get to choose who you want. I'm ready. You guys want That's Jenny? my cue to play. Move aside, boys. It's so my turn. we got one so far for Jenny, who's only got one investigative skill, That's though. That's my cue to play. I'm ready. I'm and it's, we're only seeing I'm very few with more it's, than I one. Heat. It's my turn. I heat. It's no time like, like to press you. Move aside, oh, oh, boys. Jenny again. It's my he's turn. He's like down the line. She's like 50 mental assistance, but she's, you know, all, all. She's weak in magic. She's strong in range. Yeah. 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 She's good in the initiative. He says he's like a, a good all-around character, to be honest. I'm ready to investigate. I'm One. prepared. Oh, wow. She's actually really... She's good in ma... Wait, which it's one is that? I that heed one? the Lord's call. Uh, she's still weak in magic, too. No, that's because she's, uh, you know, as you can see, clearly a Christian, so she doesn't believe in all that uh, wonky stuff. Strong in initiative, and strong in melee, average in ranged, and weak in magic. She's got yeah, good willpower, also, though. Yeah, but also, like, her, her melee attacks deal more damage, which I assume translates to double damage now. Ooh, mental again, resistance I, I, 75. Yeah, but again, I, I don't know much, I don't know anything about this game, but I am assuming that if combat is, is involved, 
which I highly doubt is going to be a big factor, but, you know, they wouldn't have the stats for it if it wasn't, but maybe deal more damage means it's easy to double damage, maybe. We got two for Joe, or for Jenny. Uh, one, two, three, three for Zoe. We've got one for Music Man, one for Shovel Man. It's my time. I'm not picking you, fucker. I picked you for the for the original. You're annoying. I'm prepared. I'm ready to. I'm prepared. Right. I'm just thinking I'm those. Ready to uh, okay, so like you to play. I assume the red numbers is health and the blue numbers Actually, is magic, or is that moves? Well, he increases group members' mental resistance, which is pretty good. He's good with manual. He's strong. Actually, he's got really good. By the way, the story does change depending on who you guys choose. Just to let you know. I'm just thinking, like, uh, he increases group. Is, is, are those passive or active abilities? Like, does he have to use that ability? Like, does he have that to use a, a good, turn? That that is a good one. Um, Move aside, yeah, boys. Is, like, does it's he have turn. to use a turn to make that do, or is it just passives? They all have like individual passives. That's my cue to play. Move aside, boys. So it's she my can turn. do. I do what I want. Cannot be inflicted with the restrained conditions. She can't be restrained. That's my. I'm I, it's I heed the Lord's call. So the question is, which one do we want to do? So you know, we're gonna we're gonna break it down. You have Jenny, you have Trumpet Man, and you have Zoe to pick from, guys. Remember, we can always re-roll and do another one another time. You got one for Jim. While you guys do that, I'm gonna go take a pill. Two for Jim. You keep an eye on the chat. Zoe, Zoe, Jim. It looks like Jim might win. Oh my. Okay, I'm in chat. So the, fe the lady is a female cartman. She does what she okay, wants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Jim. Eight for Jim right now. I think Jim won on a landslide here. There's no time uh, like to press. He has eight, eight votes for Jim. And Zoe's got one, two, three. I think Jim won. Y'all want to be the jazz man. Remember, if you guys don't like him, we can always re-roll another quick one later. Yep. Here's where the game gets fun. Do not hesitate to use bandages between fights. So there is cow combat involved in this. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingist, professor of astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life, I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently, I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. Professor Tillingus must like the blues more than those stuffed shirts at Miskatonic University if she called me out here for a performance. You don't see that too often in an elderly lady. Now, hold on. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. I'd better ring the bell. So the best part old... about this is the old lady. Well, old ladies can like blues music too. Also, I'm... I'm not gonna say it's a stereotype, but it's kind of, you know, like... The, the, the dude right here is, is from New Orleans. Yeah, he doesn't sound like it though, which is weird. No, but again, I'm, I'm just, you know, it's just Louisiana, but it's like, you know, it's, you know. 
So the dialogue that Willem Willemina gives is some funny shit. But also, I, I like how. Of hearing. Yeah, I also like like a, a bit of. of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. There's a light that, coming from the second floor window. Oh, she must be home. The door's locked. I ought to find a way in to check on her. See, that's what I get. Again. Like the first point, where like, he said, like she'd like him to come in, and then then she said welcome, and then then he said I better ring the doorbell. Oh, because he like, can't hear her. We can hear her. It's basically the whole DM yeah. thing where we hear the DM, but they don't. But the game character doesn't. Yeah, exactly. But 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 why would, would he say that? And then then she'd say welcome before he even rang the doorbell. Because she's a smart ass. Each scenario has set a. A set of specific objects to complete to progress to the next scenario. These objects are displayed in your notebook and are updated as you complete them. There's no answer at the door, but one of the second floor lights is turned on. And friend awaiting. A magnifying glass icon displayed over objects you can investigate. This is definitely Professor Tillingham's car. The engine appears to be cold. That is a nice old car. Although, I, I, I love that small, small tidbit uh, of the left trigger being the run button is accelerate. Yeah. That, that's a fun little one. Also, there was a shiny right there. I know. We're gonna get and to behind it. you, also. Not An that one, maybe behind Outdoor you. ornament. This ornament seems to be used as a roundabout for vehicles. There's a shiny right there. I see it. The gate. The gate is shut. You came in from the other side. The countryside here would be lovely for a long walk when the weather's fine. Not like today. Also, I don't know if it's because I'm, I have Twitch open or whatever, but like if the stream is really grainy for me, so I'm going to turn a few things off right now. So I was going to say, why don't you just pop out the chat and turn off the rest of Twitch? A car. Here stands a car in which you arrived. Before leaving, you should meet Professor Tillingham. Hello? Hi. Hey. Yeah, apparently it's turning off Twitch just fucked with everything. I don't know why. A window. Uh. A box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take the way that way inside, but it looks to be shut tight. It's no problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. God, his voice is terrible. Yeah. You all get to deal with his voice the entire game. Unless we re-roll character. I hope you aren't <laughs> thinking what I fear you're thinking. What I need is something make... heavy to smash this window. Why smash the window? Go knock on the door, you dumbass. He did knock on the door, remember? No one answered. No, no he, he rang the doorbell. There's a difference. As you tested before, the front door is locked. It seems to be locked from the inside. So you really, really want gonna... the shovel man back. Anyone who saw that video knows I don't want the shovel man back. Some interactions with objects may ask you to choose the best action out of several possible actions. Those are called complex interactions. Inside the wheelbarrow, you find a pair, a heavy pair of bolt cutters. Just the thing for smashing a window. Hey, okay, can you, like, move the camera up or down? No. Kind of. Okay. okay, so, okay, so, no, those aren't wired. So, so he's literally taking a bolt cutter to smash open a window. Yes. Ow. You okay. smashed my window. I hope you intend to have it replaced. Yeah, I hope this too, really dude. is an emergency and the professor forgives me. Anyway, I can't apologize until I find her. Where would she be? A piano, a beautiful piano. You don't recall the professor mentioning that she could play. 
Judging by the dust on the instrument, you doubt it's seen much use. A comet painting. A large painting of a comet hurtling through this night sky. Seems the professor's interest in astronomy colored her taste in art as well. As soon as that um, background music stopped playing, I felt like it, there's something right next to you trying to say something to you. Yeah, I know, so did I. Uh, what the, wait, wait, what? A broken vase. Oh, shit. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. I'd better find her. Oh, she's not home. Ah. Let's see. Complex interactions. If your investigators have the knowledge acquired, they will offer advice on the best course of action. If this is not the case, they will tell you nothing. Let's manipulate it. Oh, shit. Mythos. Ooh. Through your investigation, you may draw the attention of great old ones. This is called Mythos. The Mythos Clock. Sorry. I have like I have to burp and it won't come out. Fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen during a complex interaction at the end of a full round of combat. When the Mythos Clock is full, the great old ones will intervene to slow you down. Be on your guard. Shards of I some don't. fragile object now shattered lie on the ground. Perhaps it's a clue. <laughs> So, so basically, the mid, the middle clock is, is like that, uh, the um, the midnight clock, as they call it, like you know, two minutes to midnight. Yep. A closer inspection of the fractured object reveals it was a vase. No shit. Based on the position, you think it fell from the small table nearby. Since the fragments are free of dust, you deduce deduce it broke recently. That screen came from upstairs. That sounds like my voice. I must need help. Professor? Was that you? Of course it was. Hurry! No answer. It sound like somebody there must be someone else in the house. I ought to find a weapon. Oh, we had something happen. Thank you. Money for the Supreme Goddess Overlord Purity. Thank you, Tatsu. I need to... I know. What? I know this is a role playing game and all, but like. He said he needs to find a weapon, right? Mm hmm. Right? Yes. What, what, what did he do with those bolt colors he used to smash the window? Because I used that as a weapon. Same, but he doesn't have them anymore. Exactly. That, that this is what I what I hate about most RPGs. So like, you no, use this you item, and now you don't have it anymore. Like, that's a blunt uh, object. Fucking use that, man. Certain events will force a sanity check. Each investigator's mental resistance score determines their chance of success to resist it. When sanity reaches zero, the investigator in question suffers from a trauma, which gives them a penalty. A little table is full of items. Perhaps searching them will turn up something useful? Object found. You found a weapon. While searching, select the weapon by pressing the A to move your cursor. We're gonna put that right there. Why? Why? Oh, oh, okay. I'm an idiot. There we go. That knife might come in handy if I run into trouble. What on earth are you doing with my letter opener? He's about to stab a bitch. A shoe rack containing what you assume are the professor's shoes. Chances are she hasn't left the house. A door. It seems that this door is locked. It's a good thing that it's not where you want to go. What song stuck in your head? Huh? I don't know they were talking about it. Uh. This video is at two minutes to midnight. The screen must have come from the other side of this door. 
That's my office door. The door, the door the through which you heard the professor's scream. It's locked. Now I do know this part of the game, so I'm just gonna do what we need to do. Your reflection gazes back at you from the scrupulously clean bathroom mirror. Let's see. This lock might break, might be weak enough to break. For healing, yay. Lucky us. Yeah. Also, I, ca I don't really, I, I can't never remember. Is this set in like a 1920s or Yeah, it'd 18? be the 1920s. Yeah, because I, I never, never really remember that from the miracles or like, when it actually took place. Children's toys. Toys are laid out around the room so carefully that you doubt a child ever touched them. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> Colonel Mustard is the culprit. Most well, book. Most well, book. <laughs> Whoa. Spook. Oh, it's just David. What it was, maybe. Who's there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks, Bureau of Investigation. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? The professor had some idea of hiring me to perform some music for her. I'm Jim Culver. When she didn't answer the door, I got worried and came in. Then I heard her scream and came upstairs. Seems like I'm on the right track. Something hinky's going on here. Is Professor <laughs> Tillingus a suspect in some crime? She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. Seems we need a key to get inside that room. I wasn't prepared for so many guests today. I'll help you find that key. I know you got a companion. Nice. Roland Banks, new investigator. Open character sheet. I first met Agent Roland Banks when he visited my home to ask me whether I knew anything about some strange group of people. He seemed to have little more than a vague rumors to investigate. And, to be honest, I still don't entirely understand what he was after. Still, he seemed honest, if not open, and he has the broad shoulders and quite confidence one likes to see in members of the Bureau of Investigation. He certainly appeared to be the sort of person one would call for help. So Roland is, has more chance of dealing critical hits in combat. And he's logical. Ah, uh, he has a strong initiative. Should we check the crib or no? Let's see. An infant's crib. Obviously not brand new, but well cared for. No advice. Yeah, not as physical. Among oh. other ornaments, a key tagged office hangs from the mobile. What a clever place to keep a spare key. There's a key on this mobile. My files say Dillingus has no children. If that's true, why would she need a nursery? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I well, can't say it isn't true. I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. That's just sad right there. Honestly. Yeah. So, let's explore a couple more rooms. Because I haven't actually explored any of the rooms when I was doing this. I went straight to the office. Yeah. A strong wooden chest. It doesn't seem locked, but something else is preventing it from open. You open the chest to find it is full of books. Lying atop them is a single sheet of paper on which written a receipt for apple fritters. Peel core and slice the apples across. Recipe. But not too thin. Dip into frying batter. 
Remove one at a time with a fork and drop carefully into the fryer. Remove the fryer when they reach a pale golden brown. Then drain. Dust with powdered sugar and serve with a slice of lemon. Banana fritters can be cooked the same way. And now you all know how to cook those. Yep. Got a bookshelf. Well organized bookshelf. You find a new item, cigarettes. Ooh, it can bring our sanity up. And damage us. I feel like he's gonna need them. I like how cigarettes like restore sanity, but I mean Makes sense. Calms your nerves. Yeah, that, that, that's what they want you to believe. <laughs> A painting of cats. Old ladies tend to like cats, but you do admit it emits a sense of calming. I'm not even going to touch that. Yeah. <laughs> it's too easy. Uh, I'm not saying you're old, but you know. I don't have cats. Anymore. Shut up. <laughs> Enemy encounters. You'll encounter enemies as you explore. You can know which room contains enemies by a glow crawling from under the door. Oh, let's go fuck a bitch. Right up. Tutorial fight. Tutorial fight. What? Oh. Who? An intruder. How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? Listen, pal. You've got some explaining to do. Come then. I have just the explanation you deserve. I like how all of you just put up, put up the dupes. Oh no. Ooh. Combat is turn based. Every character acts one after the other. Okay, I'm not gonna read that shit. Yeah, but then uh, there's a strategy that goes into like move it, movement and all that. Like, so you can move that far. And you can use... Time to shiver, bitch. Can shiv him. I don't think he was and, expecting that, I'm gonna be honest with you. And, and seeing as this guy has a gun, you move him a bit further and then shoot him to, to try to, to avoid shooting you, you or ourselves. Like there, and then, then shoot him. Use the no, I didn't mean... No, 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 no. Thank you. Uh, you you unequip the gun though. Yeah, I don't want to use up all the bullets yet. <coughs> ah, okay. And he dies, and does he turn into What's dust? What's going on? He does. We'd better have a he look inside. A shadow. Reload. Remember to reload your weapons after each fight. You can reload from the inventory, select your weapon, and then reload option. I don't need to do that. Ooh, more bandages. Yes, sir. Who in blazes are you? What happened here? Is that... Wait. That's me. That is... It, it's my... body. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them. And stop them from what? <laughs> they already done them. Yeah, I know. It's just like... Given the context of all things. Hey, buddy, guess what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna shiv a bitch. End turn. Once you. Yep, 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 yep. I like the model they use for the miniature gun he has, though. It is good. Down he goes. Oh, he can shoot again. Nice. I don't have enough points. 
Overwatch. This action is called Overwatch. When selecting Overwatch as a combat action, your investigator will get ready to attack the first enemy that moves within the weapon's range. Heck yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's in the blind Could've spot, turned yeah. around, you dumb fuck. Uh-oh. After all the characters have made their, their, have had their turn to attack, the mythos clock fills up. Be on your guard. Hey buddy, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a talk with you. Have you ever seen Mr. Stabby? Because he sure does like you. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. <gasps> that should have done way more damage. Yeah, but it's a point blank and all. <laughs> Damn. What are you gonna do, stab me? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Who were those cloaked figures? This wasn't just a burglary. You're right about that. It must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. Sir, when have you seen a burglary done like this? They, you know, they I put mean, the candles and everything around for effect during the burger alert. You know, murder, suicide. Also, I love the fact, like, I know it's just because they're using stock images, but, like, you look at the thick candles and all, all the wax that's gone down. Like, this is, it, it makes it look like it's something that's been good. Like, they've done this for hours. Like, how fucking, how long were they in there? They wanted to make sure everything looked just right. Yeah. To your horror, you recognize the body is definitely that of Professor Tillinghans, Tillinghans, and there's no question she's dead. Fuck! A deep weeping wound on her abdomen appears to be the cause of death. Judging by the, wit the wetness, it appears she was killed recently. Well, you did hear her scream. You feel the stability in your mind shatter. Sanity check. Fuck! Poor Professor Tillingist. Such a terrible death. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. This wound on her stomach? It looks like she was knifed. Yeah, maybe because all the, all the, all the occultists were literally holding for kitchen knives? We should be able to put this together. Put some... Okay. Broken glass. Reassembling most of the shattered container, you see a flask that probably came from a laboratory. You can make out a printed words, Miskatonic University. I have a visual novel, I hope novel, this broken way, glass doesn't mean there's been trouble. Nice. We should do that sometime. Yeah, a broken jar, a flask. You can make out a few I'm letters. I'm gonna use the bathroom Miska, again. Miska, uni... So just, just go play all day back in like... Lab. Okay. Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. The desk drawer is locked. You'll need to open it before it sa Let's see. Is there a weakness I can use? Find flaws. Inside the drawer are tucked various notebooks. At a glance, you find nothing related to the murder. But it clears that Professor Tillinghast was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. Look at these notebooks. Is this the professor's handwriting? It is, but how would you know? That's why he's asking. There's no useful information here, but perhaps Professor Tilling has kept notes on this material in another location. Lifts on the floor. A large glyph has been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. You're certain Professor Tillinghouse was deliberately killed above it. What you aren't certain of is why. You feel stability of your mind shatter. Sanity check. Shit, we did not do him good on that check. What's this weird symbol drawn on the floor? Is that... blood? My nice, clean floor. Ruined. 
That looks like some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. No shit. We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so, my friend set out to discover how I was killed. So what do you guys think of this game so far? Might have been the same. Same painting. Bloody heads. Sorry I didn't answer sooner. Completed. You've managed to stay sane. Professor Tillingham was found dead in her own home by what appears to be members of the cult. What happened? Main objective. Enter the mansion. Find Professor Tillingham. Find out what happened. What happened? She did. Ah. Uh, oh no. Of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Damn, Not only did I work there. But the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. Now, I'm just asking, is Miskatonic an actual place? No, it's not. Okay. It's like, again, Miskatonic and Arkham aren't real. You need to select a group that will continue the investigation into the next scenario. Build a group based on the challenge you expect to face in the field. Review the investigator's strengths as needed in your notebook. Well, we only have the two, so... I, I think right now we're just turning a pig into an order. Office and equipment. At the end of the scenario, all the items you've collected on your investigation are stored here. Before heading out again, make sure you have the you sure that you have assigned weapons and accessories and items to your investigators. See now I'm seeing that we are missing uh bullets in our gun. We are So yeah, we can give that back to the detective, but uh, if we don't have uh... Oh now he gets five bullets then. Yeah, because I guess he has it on him. Now we only have three bullets. Yeah, and then bandages to, uh, what's it, Jim? We'll give, give him. him. I'll say give him one and then give two to the detective because he, Jim, seemed to have a little bit, bit more health than. There we go. Yeah. And then we're going to launch the scenario and then we'll end it. Are you yeah. sure you want to continue the investigation with the current group and equipment? Yes. Yeah, yeah like, we can't do anything else. I do really <laughs> like this game, though. Yeah, it, so far, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I think this is our you new know, Friday game. Definitely. One of our new Friday games. Welcome so, to Miskatonic University, the, uh, the side of the, home of the prestigious Orn Library, like, it, it looks painted which includes all. the it's country's nice largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and astrophysics, huh? I bet we'll meet a lot of eggheads in this department. <laughs> oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillingist's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's find this Professor Withers. 
So I, I like how she said uh, my little house, even though in the, in the last call scene she said it was a fucking mansion. Well, they're hers. It's her little house. Yeah. And we've saved, so that's what we're going to call it for tonight, guys. I also loved it with the, the cutscene and all. Um, and this is how it is with mini cottage. Like, it, it, like a cottage is like it's a small village almost. Well, um, Arkham, which is where Miskatonic is, is supposed to be like a smaller town. Good night.